So today we're decluttering my minimal makeup collection that has grown as you can see <laughs> but I have a good reason for that I promise everything was intentional and the reason I wanted to add new items is because I wanted to find new makeup looks I can wear over and over and over again and I won't get bored of them which means I won't shop unnecessarily <laughs> so that was really important goal for me and I'm super happy that I achieved it and that means that I can declutter yay and I can let go of everything I'm no longer using or that I don't want in my makeup collection so this is my entire makeup collection right here plus I have my summer shades in my secret compartment so I have my foundation I have my concealer and also a summer bronzer but so you can see everything better. I'm gonna take everything out of this drawer on the table and then I can go through everything and declutter it. <laughs> now let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my foundations, which I just have two, a winter shade and a summer shade, but technically for me, this is like a one product because the other one is always in storage. So yeah, this is the product that I love, that it's my holy grail. It's the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation. It's dewy, glowy, and I just love it so, so, so much. So I'm gonna be keeping them both. And now for my concealers, again, I just have two products, a winter shade and a summer shade. And like I said before, I just have one product in my makeup collection. The other one is storage. And these are both from Urban Decay Stay Naked, which it's a good concealer. It's full coverage, but more drying and it creases a little bit. So in the future, once I use them up, I'm gonna go for something more hydrating. But so far, I'm gonna keep them and use them up. Now for my face powder, I just have one and it's this one from Charlotte Tilbury that I hit a huge pan already and it's a good powder but it's too matte for my taste. So once I use it up, again I'm gonna go for something dewy, that's kind of my theme here. I prefer a more natural dewy look but it's still good, I'm still gonna keep it and like I said, once I use it up, I'm gonna go for something different. When it comes to the bronzers, I just have two bronzers, a matte one and a shimmery one. They're both from the body shop. Now this one is my holy grail, it's a honey bronze, love it so much. This this one is kind of okay, nothing special, but it does the job. It's kind of a highlighter and a shimmery bronzer, which I both use together at the same time. I just love to have the selection, so I'm gonna be keeping them both. But don't worry if you're thinking, when is she gonna declutter something? <laughs> with face products, they're not that exciting to me, but with eyes and lips, yes, I have so much to declutter. So this is what I have for my bronzers. Now for the blushes, I just have two. This one is Hot Mama from The Balm, and you can see it's just kind of stunning shimmery coral. And this one is Balm Bitch, which it's kind of a subtle, everyday, almost not their blush. And I love using them both. I love having that variety. Two blushes for me are more than enough and I'm gonna be keeping both of them. And now we can finally start decluttering because I don't wanna have that many options with my eye pencils. I realized when I was doing different makeup looks that I just wanna have three options. Now the first one that I wanna have is just a black eyeliner with very slim end so it can create kind of cat eye looks or very thin lines so this is a staple from Zoeva that I love then I also want to have just a brown eye pencil with, for those days when I don't want to go with a black eyeliner so it's more subtle and then I also want to have something for my inner corner which is this one right here from Zoeva super shimmery and super super fun so all these four products I'm going to be decluttering today this one is from Charlotte Tilbury, just a nude eye pencil that doesn't stay on me very long, maybe an hour or two, so it's a waste of time to even put it on. Then this one is a black eye pencil, which I don't like because I cannot control the thickness of the line that much. Then I also have this brown eye pencil that I don't enjoy the formula. And then I also have the dark green pencil that I don't reach for because I just prefer neutral. So I'm letting go of these four pencils and I'm keeping these three. Now for my eyeshadow primer, I just have one. This is from Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm keeping it, I love it. Then for mascara, I have this one from Isadora High Impact, which I love so, so, so much. I think I finally found my holy grail. I've been looking for a holy grail mascara for a while. So this one I absolutely love. It's easy to apply. I love the brush. It stays on me all day. It doesn't flake. It's easy to remove all that I need from a good mascara. So this one I'm keeping as well. And now these are all of my eyeshadow palettes and I know it's a lot. <laughs> I'm an eyeshadow lover, I love it so much, but I'm also gonna be decluttering from here today as well. So the first thing that I wanna go is this one, which I do enjoy, but the problem that I have with it is just, it's so old. It's four years old and 
I put it in my everyday makeup bag lately so I can really focus on it and hit pen here and here and here and then I can let it go with less guilt. But to be honest, I just feel kind of icky about using it. When you have products for such a long time, I don't know. I personally just feel like it's time to move on. I used it, I loved it and now I can say goodbye to it. And what I replaced it with is this new palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a sophisticated palette and you will see it's similar. It has just the four shades, all are matte, and it's kind of the same kind of vibe as the previous palette, but it's new. I don't feel icky about it. And also I love the grayish shade because it does give me a bit more versatility when I wanna have kind of a smoky look. Then I'm also gonna be decluttering this one right here. This one is again from Charlotte Tilbury and it's Exagger Eyes. And I've used this one so, so, so much. I don't know if you can see, but the more I used it, the more I realized it just doesn't sit right on my skin because it pulls a little bit more pinky, mauve reddish, I don't know how to say it. It's just, I don't like that look. I prefer kind of neutral browns, not cold, not warm, neutral. So this one, I just realized that I'm wearing it less and less and less, but my mom is a perfect candidate for this one. So I'm going to give it to her and she's going to love using it much more than I do. Then I'm also keeping this one Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Star Aura palette, mostly for this two top shades. <laughs> I love them so much. This one is kind of a wet look. This one is a bit more pinky and it's again perfect to travel with and I just love shimmery shades in combination with this eyeshadow right here. And then <laughs> you can see that I added this palette recently to co my collection because this one wasn't working out for me. Let me explain. When I opened this one, I don't know, on camera it looks pretty neutral, but when I put it on my face, I started realizing that it pulls orange on me or red on me or pink on me and it's a bit more warm toned. Even though I thought I'm buying a neutral eye palette, it's actually a bit warmer and I just stopped reaching for it once the honeymoon was over because when I did my decluttering, I was still in honeymoon phase with this palette. So now that's over. And even though it's a stunning palette, it's not for my skin tone. And what I got for myself instead is this one right here. So this one, it's much more neutral. I don't know if you can see on camera, but this one, it's proper, proper neutrals. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It has shimmers, it has mattes, and I just love this one so, so, so much more. I'm out of the honeymoon phase and I can say that I love it. So that's what I'm gonna be keeping as well. These three eyeshadow palettes are all that I need, kind of travel versions, and then my kind of natural eyes that I love so, so, so much. And then when it comes to the brows, I have two products. I'm gonna be keeping them both. This one is Anastasia Brow Whiz, which I love, so, so amazing. And this one is just a brow gel. It's a dip brow gel version. And at the beginning, I was kind of <laughs> not so sure about it, but over time, I'm starting to love it more and more because it does give a lot of volume and fluffiness. So these two products I love and I'm gonna be keeping them both. Now for my lip liners, I'm gonna keep all four of them, even though three would be more than enough because these two shades are really, really similar. So they're both nude. This is a pillow talk, this is just classic nude. This one is a deeper nude, pillow talk medium, and this one is kind of pinky corally. So like I said, I'm keeping all of them and once I use this one or this one, <laughs> it depends which I use at first, then I'm just gonna keep my lip liners at number three. Now to all of my lipsticks and lip balms. This one is a new addition, it's from Bare Minerals in shade Grace, which I do enjoy very much. I'm wearing today and it's kind of just your everyday shade. And the reason that I got this one is because I wanted to replace this two because I realized that the more that I'm wearing them, more chapped my lips became. And I wasn't sure why if I'm imagining things and then I saw a YouTube video and a lady said, yes, that can happen with beeswax. It can be an irritant to the lips. I decided to stop using them. I found a replacement and then I also replaced my chapstick with this Lanolips, which is based on lanolin instead of beeswax and my lips improved so, so, so much. Again, I'm not an expert. I don't know why, I have no idea why. I just know what works for my lips. So this two, I'm gonna be letting go, even though I did enjoy them. But again, I did enjoy them mostly because they were almost like a lip balm, tinted lip balm. So as a lipstick, they're not that amazing to be honest. But now that I know that beeswax, it's not amazing for my lips, I can easily let this two go. And these four lipsticks are what I'm keeping. So the first one is Charlotte Tilbury, which one is it? This is Pillow Talk Medium, 
which I love so much. Then I'm keeping, I know shades by name, <laughs> Lost Cherry. Oh, such an amazing, stunning color. This one is then Pillow Talk. Yes, you can see. They're all loved and used. And this one, like I said, is graced. So yeah, this is what I'm keeping. And now I just counted everything. <laughs> so if you like statistics as much as I do, this is gonna be lovely for you. So I had 37 products before I started decluttering. I decluttered nine of them, which is 24%, which is amazing. Well done me. And that means that I have 28 products left in my makeup collection, including summer shades and all of that. So yeah, this is everything that I'm decluttering. This one I'm giving to my mom, this one to a friend, this one in the trash. This four I'm also gonna give to my mom. She will love them and use them much more than I will. And this two, again, in trash, they're a bit achy. So this is what I decluttered and now I can show you everything that I kept. So now I reorganized everything that I'm keeping. So yeah, this is my entire makeup collection for 2022. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and I will see you next time.